Uh, definitely feel real good. Uh, my trainer Eric Turner was like, uh, given that fight, given the fact that you know when it comes to the Madison Square Garden is like the mecca of all fights. You know when you talk about the MMA world, it's like the, it, it's just like the mecca of all fights. So coming from Satama Arena to you know NGM, <laughs> can't get any better. And then two big finishes, even better. Was the head kick something you saw yourself finishing this fight with? I mean, everyone's talking about the Yvonne Flute show coming in, and you changed it up a little bit. I did. Uh, everybody know I got a really good high uh, left kick. Um, I caught him in the second round just by throwing it, just I wanted to see what's going to happen. And it caught him. I was surprised he didn't go down. And uh, the third round, I used a measuring technique that I use all the time, kind of stick my left hand out there, and he stuck his right hand out there. And then I came back the second time and did it. But I followed through with my left kick. The minute I did that, it landed perfectly. And I pretty much knew it was over. That's the last knockout you've had. I know you've had some good ones in your career, but is that rank number one? I mean, it's in the UFC, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> Couldn't quite see afterwards. You jumped on the, the, the ring and were, looked like you were yelling or talking to somebody. Who were you talking to and what were you saying? I know, because um, it was funny because DC turned his head. He was like, he almost, because when I knocked him out, I was walking. I seen him turn his head like, he was like, okay, I can't believe this just happened. And then I just pointed at him just to let him know I'm still here. <laughs> Notice that you uh, were, were talking to Volkan just there and you fought him not that long ago. What did you guys say to each other? Um, we're just going to see each other again. And, you know, uh, to be honest, that loss against him, I needed that. That was the, one of the pinnacle points in my MMA career. A lot of people have up and downs. I ha when I first started off, I had my ups, and then after that, I had my downs. And particularly after that fight, is when I pretty much changed everything. Really? And um, you know, uh, definitely was blessed with a good strength and conditioning coach, uh, Frankie Padilla, who uh, not only tested me mentally but physically too. Like sometimes it is, it's one of them things where, like. I go into a workout session and I got to sit down and think about like, okay, do I really want to do this? I got to come with my A game. Yeah. You usually can come with my D game and finish your workout, but with him, I, you really got to come with my A game. And uh, that was one of the focus points. And this is, this is the reason we took the fight on short notice because typically against a guy like Corey Anderson with his pace, you don't take a fight on short notice like that. And uh, my coaches trusted me and um, we went ahead and took the fight and uh, the end result is uh, we got a good win. Are you surprised by what Volkan has done since since you fought him? Like no one really knew who he was a year ago, and now he's on the cusp of fighting for a belt. <clears throat> Definitely surprised, but at the end of the day, it makes me look good too. I yeah. mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we had a tough fight. Uh, you know, you could say I won the fight, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's, it's past, so, and I'm trying to play catch up. And I'm trying to. I'm not trying to play catch up. I'm playing catch up, and um, he sees me right behind him. And you, you mentioned Alir Latifi. Why why'd you pick him? I didn't pick him. He picked me. Okay. So he called me out a while back, and I said, let's do it. And, you know, when this situation came up, I jumped on it, and I'm jumping back right back on it December 30th if we can make it happen. Do you think it will happen? Have they told you? I haven't said nothing yet. I'm pushing it, though. Okay. So you want another quick turnaround? Because oh, you're yeah. not usually the call-out type, but I guess I'm, you're more responding to a call-out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely the one who responded to it because he called – he called me out. I'm just letting him know I didn't forget about him. Okay. Because right now, it feels kind of reminiscent to you of the time when you were in strike force and you went on that crazy streak of like fighting back to back to back and you had a ton of wins in that stretch. I mean, does it feel like that to you a little bit? Yeah, it does. But uh, luckily, the, these are kind of spread apart. I think when I was in strike force, I had three fights within seven weeks. Um, that was a uh, that was a bit too much. <laughs> that was a bit too much. Uh, because I remember during my third, that, that third fight, I remember telling myself, I was like, what's going on? I'm trying to motivate myself throughout the fight. I think I was completely exhausted because those fights actually, all three of those fights went all three rounds. And um, I, it was just right after the fight was over, the next week I was in the gym training, getting ready for another fight. Um, but these, these fights right here, I get a, I mean, I got, I wouldn't say a little bit of break. I got about a month break. So if, if you know December 30th come around, that's about a two-month break, I guess. <laughs> it's not really a break, but, you know, as long as I can keep myself active, my body feels strong, it's going to get stronger, and uh, um, I'm going to keep going. That third round, uh, you know, you kind of walked in there, you kind of seemed like you still had not a real sense of urgency. Did you feel like you had to, had to fight that point, or did you, did you, did you 
need to finish this too? Um, not necessarily. I knew that I was behind, so I knew I had to pull something out. And, and that's why I was telling myself, okay, just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You know, I knew he was going to try to take me back down, and there was a couple of times it just like I was looking to land the uppercut, but, you know, I just wanted to keep him at bay, and I knew the minute, you know, I was like, I just need to throw a good leg kick, and uh, that high kick landed perfectly.